Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Andi Al Amanda Ismarandi Panti. I'm from 24 Senior High School Makassar. And in this video, I'm going to tell you a story about the cookies. Enjoy! In the year of 2020, there was a 16 year old girl living her high school life named Gardenia. She was a gorgeous, kind, and smart girl. The only child from a father who's an air traffic controller at the Sukarno Hatta International Airport and a mother who's a housewife. Even though Gardini's dad was always busy, but he always spent his spare time together with his family. Besides only going on vacations, they loved to bake and eat cookies together. It was their favorite thing to do. They were happy and warm family. Suddenly, there was a really big news. It was the coronavirus pandemic, which started on China on December 2019 and spread it all over the world on March 2020, including Indonesia. The virus could be spread easily and already killed millions of people around the world. That's why every country has made policies for all people to do self-quarantine at home. But if it was urgent to go out, then they need to use masks and do physical distancing. They also need to keep their body healthy and always wash their hands. Schools, malls, offices, and public places are mostly closed. All things should be done from home. But some companies also had to dismiss all their employees because they couldn't get their work from home. And that's what happened to Gardenia's dad. I, I'm sorry, but I got dismissed. The airport is closed and no one is allowed to travel. It's okay, hun. This is the only way to reduce the spread of the virus. But mom, where can we get money? Dad just lost his job and you don't have a job. And I'm just an ordinary high school student. It's okay, Gardenia. I have stocked some food supplies and other necessaries since I knew that we're going to be on quarantine. I hope it'll be enough for a couple months. Yeah, Dad also saved some money from my salaries too. But I don't think it'll be enough for us. Maybe I'll try to find another job, whatever it is. But Dad, are you sure? The situation is not safe out there. The virus are spreading. What if you catch Corona? It is all for our family, Gardenia. You and Mom just have to trust me. I will trust you, but you have to make sure that you will take care of yourself. I will. So, Gardenia's dad signed up as an Uber driver. He took customers to their destinations, even if it's far away, from morning until night. The money he got wasn't as much as his previous job, but he was still grateful for it. Gardenia continued her school from home. She used her phone and laptop to do her tasks, even though sometimes she couldn't understand the subjects, but she was glad that the technology supported her online school. After three months living amid the pandemic, the cases of the virus was still increasing. One day, Dad came home from work. He seemed really tired and weak, but Gardenia and her mom didn't saw him because they already slept in Gardenia's room. So, Dad just went to bed right away too. But then the next morning, he got high fever. He kept coughing and hard to breathe. Gardine and her mom was in panic. Her mom tried to call the ambulance, and when they came, they directly took Gardine's dad and carried them into the ambulance, followed by Gardenia and her mom in another car, and they rushed to the hospital. The moment the doctor saw Gardenia's dad, it was all too obvious. He directly told the medical workers to put him in the corona patient's room, which was in the other building of the hospital, where the medical workers used PPE gloves. Gardenia and her mom tested negative for the virus because they always kept their body healthy and had no direct contact with that since last night. But they had to stay in a hotel for some time because their home was on guard and needed to be cleaned up. Every day, the medical workers lent their phone to Gardenia's dad for him and his family to call. He always tried to put a smile on his face and said he missed cookies a lot. 
but Gardin and her mom knew that he must be really suffering. For a few days, Gardina didn't got any call from his dad. She and her mom was worried, but confused at the same time. Was he recovered already? Or was he getting worse? Then, on Friday morning, a medical worker told them both to go to the hospital. And when they arrived there, they saw a patient covered in white fabrics and plastics carried into the ambulance by the medical workers and just left right away. They were confused until a medical worker approached Gardena and her mom and said, I'm sorry, but that was Gardenia's dad. He just passed away this morning, and the medical workers are going to worry them. Gardenia's mom was speechless. She cried right away. Wait, what? That, that was my dad? The medical workers nodded. No, no, that can't be my dad, no. No, my dad hasn't died yet, no. Gardenia had a mental breakdown and no steady enthusiasm. Suddenly, one day, mom came into Gardenia's room and brought a plate of cookies while she was studying. She smiled right away. Wow, thanks, mom. Wait, mom, why don't we sell cookies online? This is the right time for us to take advantage of these technologies nowadays. But selling things online aren't easy, Gardenia. We never know if we don't try, Mom. We could send the cookies by courier and people could pass through a bank. Our cookies are so good, people must love it. If that's what you want, then let's try it. So, after a few days of preparations, they finally opened orders to the public. She named the social media account Garden Cookies. She promoted the account to her friends, and her friends promoted it to more people. Only for a few hours, Gardenia got lots of orders from people. She started baking the cookies with her mom, and she almost sold 50 boxes of cookies in just a day. People loved their cookies. It was sent freshly for, to them, and the courier sent them safely too. Instead of using plastics, they used cardboard packaging to save the world. Day by day, the cookies orders kept increasing. Gardenia and her mom was glad that she could decrease the economic crisis amid the pandemic. She was grateful for it. Hey, Gardenia. You raised me up so I can stand on mountains. You raised me up to walk on stormy seas. I am strong. When I am on your shoulders, you raise me up to more than I can be. Dad must be so proud of me, Virginia, and so am I. You are the only one I have now and forever will be. I love you so much, Virginia. I love you too, Mom. The end. The moral value we can get from this story is that sometimes life can be hard. So take a rest if you must, but remember, don't you ever quit. If we believe in ourselves to do and take advantage of positive things in the world, we will make it through. Bad days will pass. Happiness is waiting out there. As long as we never give up. That's all from me. I'm sorry for the tons of mistakes I made, and thank you so much for the attention. Hey, remember, we're still living amid the pandemic, so stay healthy and have a great day.